Do you want to know the official reason why Star Trek Discovery was delayed so much? We have an answer directly from the showrunners. If you are new here and like what you see, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss new videos. Don't get it confused, I know there are official reasons for the delays and unofficial reasons. Entertainment Weekly just published an article where the showrunners Aaron Herberts and uh, Gretchen J. Berg discussed the reasons for the delays of Star Trek Discovery. I quote them now. There are a few factors that pushed the show's original announcement debut by seven months, including waiting for star Sinica Martin Green to become available from her Walking Dead commitments, but a big issue was the sheer challenge of world building a new sci-fi series to everybody's satisfaction. Herberts explained there is so much artistry and custom craftsmanship that goes into every prop, every custom, every set. These things have to be designed and manufactured. We flew a custom designer to Switzerland to pick up the fabric for the Starfleet uniforms. Several items on our uniforms are 3D printed. Some of our sets can take over 6 weeks to make. CBS has given us the time and the money to make something that fans will find worthwhile. And Burke added, you can't cut corners or have 95% of what's on screen be completely original and inspired and then have 5% something you bought at a store. It has to be conceived and it is. It has to be cohesive and it is. Burke also said I'm proud of what's on screen, it's so beautiful and it's taking world building to a whole new level. For instance, the bridge of the USS Discovery. A lot of drag fans think they already know what it looks like from the trailer, but that's not it. The trailer shows the bridge of the USS Shinzu, an entirely different and older ship than the Discovery that the production also had to build. The actual Discovery Discovery Bridge has yet to be revealed. It's interesting to note that they said the Shinzu is an older ship than the Discovery. I think that it's the most interesting bit taken away from this interview as a lot of fans were speculating, me included, that the Discovery is older than the Shinzu as the Shinzu already looks pretty advanced. If you like this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and become part of Team Awesome. Thank you for watching, I see you in my next video.